Now let's look at the process in more complex organisms, the eukaryotes, in which there are membrane enclosed organelles. First of all, higher organisms don't divide just because nutrients are available. For example, our cells don't divide because nutrition's, nutritious molecules are available in the environment. Our blood is full of nutritious, nutritious molecules. So if that was the criteria, our cells will keep on dividing, keep on dividing, and it will be disastrous. That is something that happens in cancers. Our cell division is regulated. Cells in our body only divide when they have received a signal. For example, when we get a cut, special type of cell fragments, they accumulate at the site of cut. These cells, platelets, they stop the bleeding. Additionally, they produce special molecules, platelet-derived growth factor, for example. It diffuses to the surrounding tissue and it, it allows the cells to divide within the neighborhood. In higher organisms, the cell cycle is divided in interphase and mitosis or M phase. The interphase has three different subphases, G1, S and G2. And the M phase or the mitosis phase also has two components, actually the mitosis itself and the cytokinesis in which a cell splits into two parts, into two daughter cells. The G1 is abbreviation for GAP1. And in this phase, the cells seem to be resting. They are not involved in any activity related to cell division. Although the cells may seem at rest, however, they are actively, their metabolism is active. They are actively pursuing their other activities. In S phase or synthesis phase, the DNA, the genetic material is replicated. We we'll look at this in more detail in the next slide. In gap 2, after the DNA has been replicated, cells are preparing for mitosis. They have to make cellular machinery that will now separate the replicated genetic material and form two different daughter cells. So let's look at some of the parameters of this process. First of all, as I mentioned, cells don't divide just because nutrition is available. They have to divide in response to a signal. When cells are in G1 or GAP1, if the cells have been, cells have received a signal to divide, they will make special protein. These type of proteins are called cyclin protein, proteins because they are made and they are degraded after a particular stage in, in cell cycle is over. These cyclin proteins interact with another type of protein called cyclin dependent kinase. As the name suggests, these are enzymes. They can attach phosphate groups to different proteins, their target substrates. However, for this activity, they need presence of cyclin. And cyclins are not made by the cell till the signal for growth or cell division has been received by the cell. When the cell receives the signal, in G1 phase, Cyclin D is made and cyclin E is made. These two cyclins interact with CDK4 and CDK2 respectively, thereby activating them. These two cyclins are allosteric regulators. They attach to these enzymes at a, at a specific location and cause a conformational change which allows these enzymes to phosphorylate different target proteins. One of the target proteins for these enzymes is an RB protein, retinoblastoma protein. Retinoblastoma protein is a break, is a negative, regu negative regulator for DNA synthesis. Once this protein, RB protein, is phosphorylated by CDKs, which are now active, they're associated with cyclins, this RB protein can no longer hold an essential protein called E2F, which is required for production of proteins or machinery that causes, that results in DNA replication. Similarly, there's another cyclin called cyclin A, which interacts with CDK2 
uh, this happens during S phase and it causes the uh, production of materials which put cell in the S phase. The cyclin B and CDK1 they interact at the junction of G2 and M phase. That is where they are going to prepare cell for mitosis. Additionally, I would like to mention, as you can see on your screen, there is a protein called P21. This protein is a very important protein. This protein is basically sensing, looking at the DNA damage. If the cell's DNA has been damaged, you don't want to make a copy of damaged DNA because once a daughter cell has been formed, two daughter cells in fact will be formed. If both these cells have damaged DNA, you are creating two cells which will not be functional or they will not be able to function properly. So as long as long the DNA is okay, the CDP21 will not be produced and it will not inhibit the cyclin D and cyclin E functions. However, if this protein is present, there are other components, other proteins in the cell that can, they are monitoring D DNA integrity. If the DNA is intact, these this cell will be allowed to go proceed into S phase. 